And welcome to this week's episode of Diary of a Ghost Hunter. And this week we're doing something a little different. We are going to interview John from Hide and Seek Paraquest. Let's find out what the diary of another ghost hunting team is like. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Diary of a Ghost Hunter podcast with your frightfully good hosts and paranormal investigators, Anne and Renata. Join the chaos weekly as we tell you what has inspired us, what cases we're investigating, what is driving us round the twist, and the true horror of what goes on in the background of being a ghost hunter. This is a frightfully good production. Hi, John, and welcome to Diary of a Ghost Hunter. It feels Thank weird you. saying welcome when we're on your investigation yeah. in your location. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for having us. Yeah, look, we thought we'd do something different. We think people are tired of hearing about us talk about us yeah. and our diary. So it would be great to interview someone from another team to find out what your yeah. weekly life is as a ghost hunter. So first off... Name of your team? Hide and Seek Paraquest. How many members do you have on the team? Uh, at the moment we've got seven. Seven? Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What so, sort of um, team members do you have? Like, I know some people have doctors and lawyers and yeah. policemen. And... Um, a ve- oh, <laughs> a ve- from, we don't have anyone like that. We've got bricklayers, um, we've got hairstylists, real estate agents. Yep. Um, so, yeah, just... Yeah, no one like a stage or anyone. Yeah, so it's a regular everyday people who have an interest. And what has drawn them to be part of your team? Um, I think it comes down to their belief and and finding the right team as well. As you know, you know, you probably have so many people to approach you to join your team. Yes. Um, And, you know, you've got to really hold yourself. You've got to hold that that, that bar Um, once you... It takes so long to get that bar at that level. Your reputation is everything. Yes. Um, and it can be taken away from you. Yes. In a split second. Like that. Yes. Um, so yeah. not only is it hard choosing our IT members, uh, it's hard, well, for one, keeping them. Yes. Um, but, yeah, making sure that you have got a really good team that have got the respect of, one, a location, and, two, the whole team itself. Yeah. Um, and I believe in our team there's no there's no 10-foot gorilla in a corner. Um which sometimes you do get that. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but you, you get that, you got pushed off to it straight away. Um, so everyone, everyone's in there for the right reason. That's to try and find answers to your number we're all looking for. Um, and two is to respect each other uh, and the building that we're in. Yeah. And yeah. the owner of the building as 100%. well. 100%. Uh, because you, you've got to abide by their rules or it's all over Red Rover. Yeah, it's it. And, and as you know, as paddle investigators, we go to these locations to, to assist them with the building, you know, mm-hmm. it's not cheap running a building, especially this size. Um, so, yeah, you know, respect the owner, respect your team, and then hopefully it'll be an enjoyable experience for everybody. And yeah. how long has this team been together? Um, this team's been together since draw 20, 21, early 22. I've mm-hmm. uh, got a couple of younger ones that have come on board. Um, Hand and Seek Paraquest originally was Hand and Seek Paranormal Research. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was myself and Ian, the founder. In fact, Ian's still part of my team. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it all started way back, way back when, when um, it when was... you were a young little boy. It was quite funny. Um, how did we get into it? I came across a a listing on eBay mm-hmm. um, for a night as a part of mobile investigator. Um, in in old Melbourne jail. Oh yes. And we went along. In fact, I said to Ian, and I was in the house having the time having a coffee. He said, oh, "Do you fancy becoming a ghost hunter?" You know, we all love the Ghostbusters movie or whatever. Um, and he's like, "Oh, not particularly, you know." <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going, "Well, too bad. I bought them. We're going." So <laughs> we went. Um, and well, it was it was a very interesting evening, um, but. That's when we got the first taste of, oh wow, this has done so much better, so much more professional, mm. and most importantly, so much respect. Um, like that's what I'm saying about that experience, yeah. but that led us on to where we are now. Yeah. Um, we started to start our own, and then we you now contacted 
uh, National Trust. Um, and back in 2005, we were... You know, we have most of every National Trust building in Victoria. We run Old Melbourne Jail. Um, we run the Sean Macleaf radio show. Oh, so you show. run Old Melbourne Jail? We do yeah, done Old Melbourne Jail. Wow. Done Old Melbourne Jail. Everyone that I've seen there. We done Sean McAuliffe radio show. Oh, on yeah. On Sunday, we run there with him. Uh, Ian Dicko. Uh, yeah. Oh, we've been on... Uh, when I was in the past team, we... Yeah. Uh, was, oh, what was the Sydney... Radio show, we were on, or not you, but the other person and I. Yeah. <laughs> My past life. Okay. Yeah. Well, it used to work for Nova in Melbourne. Yep. Um, and, yeah, they got us into his house because uh, they had a, um, some happenings going on there. Yeah. So, yeah, they got us in his house and done his investigation there. Uh, and, and I grew from there. Um, you know, some marvellous locations. Some locations, you know, you, you got nothing, but that, that's, that's, that's normal. That's, that's the reality. And that, that's reality. what I want. Because yeah. if you've got everything at every location, well, then there's an issue. And it's bullshit. The issue be you. I call it bullshit. 100%. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. 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 And that's the thing that uh, a lot of people don't realise, um, that there is a difference between paranormal entertainment and real paranormal yeah. investigating. Or coming into a site and inviting people to be paranormal investigators uh, for an evening. Yeah. There is no guarantee that anything is going to happen. Yeah. Um, and in paranormal entertainment, something has to happen, or people won't watch. They, the yeah. the programming uh, TV stations or uh, stations will not pay paranormal teams to record where nothing is going on. There yeah. has to be a demon. There has to be something occurring. Otherwise, it's not watchable. Yeah, and again, that that way it tethers between your reputation, or your after fame, yes, or your after answers. Yeah. To me, I was going to go for answers. Yeah. Fame. You're famous anyway. Or you've got your family and your friends. If yeah. they know you, yeah. you're famous. Yeah. Who cares what comes with it? Um, so, yeah, you, yeah, it's reputation. What's been your favourite site up till this point in time? My favourite site? Um, Not saying the most haunted, oh, your yeah. favourite. Your favourite. Your favourite. You favorite. love favorite. to go there. Um, look, I'm not saying that because I'm here, but I do love this place. Yeah. yeah. This is in my all-time top three of favourite locations, um, not only for the building, for activity as well. Yeah. It was quite active last time we here, and hopefully we can get some more um, this evening. Um, my most enjoyable, I'd say, Polly Barber Mansion in Real Chelsea. Um, there is a... Look, there's a bit of a backstory. Um, we read there again. It would have been 2006, 2007. Um, I had the opportunity to go through for National Trust. Met this beautiful, beautiful lady, Pat Collins, um, who had managed the the mansion for the past 25 years. So she was part parcel home, part, part of fiction fittings, really. Yeah. Um, got there, showed us around, and gave her a bit of a experienced what she's felt and went through. Um, and then it was about, uh, probably about 12.30 in the morning, so early on still. And we had a big occurrence happen in the, the main bedroom of Elizabeth Austin. Um, so much so, the investigation got closed down, kicked us out of the building, and Pat resigned first thing Monday morning. Oh, wow. And she still will not go back into the building. Yeah. And she's still with us. Beautiful, beautiful lady. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, it was funny because we went to another location not long ago and we were speaking to a, another female and Pat Collins actually taught the lady I was speaking to. Mm -hmm. it, it was, it's just a small world. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why it always, always keeps on coming back to hold your head up high. Yeah. Do the right thing and you'll be good. Yeah. But yeah, that, yeah, Barber Mansion. Wow. Yeah. And I think that I think what happened was probably for another story. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was pretty fun. You have to tell us off camera. Yeah. We'll do. And look, there are so many amazing places in Australia to visit. Um, we haven't even scratched the surface. No. And mm. part of that is because of the cost of travel. And but Australia is time. so huge. It is, yeah. It's massive. Yeah. And to get around everywhere, uh, it literally was an 11 hour drive to get here uh, and totally worth it. Uh, but. Uh, also getting permission to get into sites. Yeah. Um, how do you go getting your sites here? 
Um, look, I'm quite fortunate again. Um, I'm like I'm like yourself and Marana. It's not I in 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 your team. It's mm -hmm. both of you just driving it forward. Mm -hmm. and I'm quite fortunate that the team I've got a hundred percent behind us, um, behind everyone. Uh, and there's one one of them in particular that actually sits in emails out yeah. to all mm -hmm. locations, and then they email us back and then bang them on the phone. Yeah. Um, which saves me obviously a lot of time because as you know, like you said that you just drove 11 hours to get here. Well, put in perspective, that's 22 hours there and back. Mm -hmm. Then you're unpacking, you're getting ready, you're doing what you got the next day. It's literally a three or four day episode. Yes, yeah. it is. Before yeah. you can get back into some normal rhythm. Yeah. And people don't understand that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, to answer your question, yeah, I've got team members that email all the locations yeah. for me. And be fair that when they come back then, because they know there's interest. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's it's not as easy. Please, people, don't think it's it's that easy that, that people are continually knocking on your door and asking you to come to locations and do paranormal investigations. It's not. Mm. Um, we find in most cases that we are asking time and time again. And if a location has had a bad experience with a team, the likelihood is they will not invite another team, no matter how much you beg because they have been burnt by them. Um, and that's a really sad thing, because like you said, there are locations all around Australia that are literally dying because yeah. there is no one going into them. And, um, and the thing is, if teams go in there and start carrying on with the whole demon thing, then they're not going to get the regular people coming in for the history yeah. uh, because they'll be too scared to come in. So you, it's being very mindful of the location as well. Yeah. Uh, I know that the, where we are tonight, they, they have given us some restrictions, which we, we honour. And the, the reason for those restrictions are very personal to the people. And yeah. we, we understand that. You, you don't break that. So the team's out there doing the wrong thing. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah. Because no. you won't be invited back and you're ruining it for other people as well. Just because you want to so sh show something that maybe you're seeing on other paranormal teams. Yeah, yeah copying TV. And um, you think that that's the thing to do. It's absolutely not. It, and it, you've got to realise where they're going as well. It's not bricks and mortar. It's either someone's livelihood or someone's home. That's correct. Now, if they're going yeah. and saying that there's demons and devils here, people would just refuse to go, I just say. Mm, so yeah. they, it's, it's just got to stop. And again, you know, all these paranormal teams, you know, we're, we're all here to do the same thing. Well, hopefully we're all here to achieve the same thing. That's, you know, uh, answers to what's out there and, and so forth. And if you get asked to collaborate, do it. There's no, oh, uh, it's me, 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 this is my area. Get together, because the more heads together, chances are we're going to get something. And that's yeah. what's all about. Yeah, we don't have the answers. No. None of us have the answers. And those people who are saying they've got the answers are full of shite. Yeah. Uh, so if you can get people together who have different ideas and different concepts, maybe we can put this whole jigsaw puzzle together. Who knows? Well, it's funny because I, I showed you that one today. Um, maybe we're having coffee with the image I caught yeah. out doing Melbourne Jail. Yeah. And it, to me, it looks clear what it is, but I still don't know. Mm. So it's just, it's a fresh as... Uh, it's it's a ever going circle that we all love and enjoy, and you know sometimes you don't want it or the answer. Yeah, maybe we're just never meant to know, and the <laughs> no, curiosity I, keeps dragging. I, I always say I love the journey. I really, yeah. I mean, you know, once you kind of think you're getting close, uh, are you really? Is mm. is it really what's going on? Yeah. It's never going to be definitive until we ourselves are dead and we. No, at yeah. that point in time, I'm not rushing to get there. Yeah. So I'm I'm, I'm happy to engage with whatever spirit wants to come around and say mm. hello, and um, yeah, keep developing, keep developing mm. our skills so that we can you know, maybe find a particular way that is going to be a better way of connection. Yeah. Now, do you get people requesting um, help with paranormal problems? Look, we do. Um, Again, and that's a whole top of itself. Um, you got once you get that initial inquiry, then you contact them, and then you sum up exactly what situation you're in. Um, you know, about being too cruel, or you know, it, are they just out there for a bit of fun? Mm -hmm. Are they out there to 
to make fun of you? Um, or are these people really, really need help? If they really need help, the first point of contact is your doctor. Yep. Yeah. We had one person call us. This was a number of years ago where they, um, when we asked them in the end, is, there, it, and, you know, is your house really haunted? They kind of went, no, we just really want you to come over so we can have a cup of tea with you. <laughs> Remember yeah. that? That's it. And that happens so, <laughs> so common. Um, yeah. They're just lonely. Yeah. You know, yeah. and they're more than welcome to contact me anytime. Because I would, you know, them contact me, ask them how I am, or can I have a cup of coffee, then to them sit there lonely by themselves. Yeah. So I'm not happy to contact. Um, you know, there's always different uh, organisations we can help them with. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's very hard to determine who actually needs help and, and who doesn't. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and I, I listen sometimes. So uh, sometimes we get phone calls, and I listen to what the people are saying to me. And sometimes there'll be words that jump out, like nobody will listen to me. I've I've ended up going crazy with this, and you know they've tried to medicate me. And as soon as I hear those words, I know that um, this person needs medical help yeah. before they need paranormal help. Yeah. And it, it's if you listen, and this is the problem with paranormal investigators sometimes is. They get a case and they're so excited about getting a case that it is going to be paranormal. That's that's all there is to it. They've got demons. They've got everything in there. And they don't listen to what the person is saying. I, I think that comes down. To me, there's two things. There's a paranormal investigator and then there's a ghost hunter. Yeah. Two completely different things. And, and I don't think there's a, a thin line. I think it's a huge line between them. Mm. Um I like to think that we're professional investigators. Yeah. We use the right equipment. Uh, we do the right thing. I wear the ghost hunts, just stop the car anywhere and just start asking questions or, you know, I've, I've seen that, I've seen this. And next minute they put it on Facebook, Twitter, all these socials, or I'm an investigator. Yeah, you know, it doesn't work that way. Yeah, it takes so a long time. What makes you... Uh, how, how do you become a paranormal investigator? What is the definition of being when you can say, tick, you are now a paranormal investigator? Um, I don't uh, think I can answer that question. <laughs> I, I don't think you can. Um, it comes down to your techniques and your methods. It's okay. not how many episodes of Ghost Adventures oh, you watch. Are you sure? Not, uh, <laughs> I've watched oh, every one for every season. Uh, Surely I'm a ghost hunter uh, now. I, I very, really, really sleep. Very, very sleep. I'm always either on the computer editing or I'm looking for new locations or I'm stuck on YouTube. The amount of hours I've watched, I should be a doctor. Yeah. Yes. You know? yes. I can't watch them anymore. Yes. But, but you need... I don't need to, but I like to watch that stuff because you're forever learning. Well, there's new techniques that keep yeah. coming on board and sometimes watching things being done the wrong way gives you an idea for something else. Yes. Hundred cents, and that's why I'm so excited about this evening. About we- watching us doing it the wrong way. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, nah, maybe. I, I, I mean, seriously, maybe. <laughs> it's, it's the table tipping. I just table tipping, Ouija boards, scrying, stuff like that. It's too much human. It, it's yeah, yeah, too much contamination. Yeah. What I love about your table tipping is that you use, a, I think I've told you before, it's a three-legged table. Mm-hmm. And I've seen that on an angle that you guys are either on. That defies gravity. I've seen it walk up a wall. That's to yeah. the point we've got one finger, like we're all up there with one finger on it, so. Yeah, and you tell me who's pushing that. And that's what yeah. I'm fascinated Yeah, I fake that. <laughs> for sure. Um, and that, that's what I'm looking forward to. to um, and we do it in life. Experience you. That's the difference. Do it. And, and the right way. Yeah. Teach. Because, yeah. you know, the, the reason I don't use them, but I say it can be manipulated, but I might not understand. Hmm. So, again, you're always learning. So. And ego comes into it as well. And yeah. as soon as somebody says, oh, we always get activity when I'm on the table, hmm. you've got to put your antennas up because that is ego, because they will need activity hmm. to happen when they're on the table. Yeah. So, they will make activity happen 100%. on the table. Yeah. We have sat there before and nothing has happened and it's very awkward. Mm. Very awkward. Don't but, do that to us tonight, please. <laughs> fingers crossed now. <laughs> but again, you'd want that. Yeah. 
This is what it is. If, if it's going to happen, you'd want that. And we've told all our team that too. If nothing happens, that's the reality. Yeah. People have okay. still had an experience yeah. and, and they're okay. understanding how the process works and all mm. of that. And you try all the tricks in your belt and if nothing happens and Move on. they don't want to talk. Next location. Yep. Or there, there is somebody there that is um, blocking what is going to happen. We, yeah. we have our sceptics and our cynics. And the, the sceptics are asking questions, which I love, but the cynics... Yeah. yeah. They're just closed. They just block open everything. Houses. You yeah. don't care if ever it starts doing cartwheels in front of them. They yeah. still won't believe it. Come yeah. on, yeah. go. Oi. Yeah. Go, ah, it's not a ghost. <laughs> what's, what's the one thing you would still like to achieve? One what? thing I'd love to achieve <laughs> um, in the ghost. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is there a particular place you would still like to go or an opportunity or some part, a piece of evidence or is there, is there something that you're still going, oh, gee, I wish I can just get that? Um, well, I, I'm planning on going to the States at the end of the year to get that out of my system. Mm -hmm. um, just to, to say I've done it. Now, I'm not going there thinking, oh, I'm going to go control and call and get evidence, that blah, blah. I don't care if I ever do or I don't. At least I know I've done it. Mm -hmm. yep. Is it that haunted? We let you decide. Um, but I just want to go for, so I've been here, but go to the Queen Mary like you've done and I'm to the house, Sally House, because if, if you... If don't you listen to our podcast before you go. <laughs> <laughs> you will be yeah. shattered. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, and, and again, it's, it's about being a truth. Yeah. yeah. One thing that does play on my mind is, obviously I'm from the UK, from Liverpool. I came out here in 2000. Um, oh, I didn't even know you had an accent. Wow. I know, it just comes out to me. Wait <laughs> <laughs> um, to have a drink, I can't understand myself. Um, so yeah, I came out here in 2000. Um, well, to obviously be Australian, my wife, well, my girlfriend, my wife man now is a Australian. And come out here, oh, fantastic, and then you get into the paranormal. And then you're like, oh, I want to go there, I want to do that. Back home, it's literally jump in the car, go four minutes. And you I, know. I know, I know. That is why I'm like, now, oh. That's why we know. keep going back. Yeah. That's it's every everything. year if we can. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's there, and that's what I miss about UK now. Yeah, yeah. Opposed to being obviously over here. You just drive down the street, and there's a castle. Just pop on in. <laughs> could you imagine? Oh. If if I was that close, oh, could you imagine what you could do? I know. With I the know. knowledge you have now, yeah. 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 If we, yeah. Oh, even yeah, if we lived there now, jeez, oh, you'd be doing investigations every night. Yes. You really would. Yeah. You'd, you'd burn out. Yeah. You know, and have, and you would have an issue getting through all of the haunted places and mystical places in 10 years. There would still be places to go and see and yeah. investigate and experience. Yeah, that's, that's uh, why we keep going back. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> that, that's one thing, just a distance. Instead of, instead of FIFO, it'd be SISO, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> spirit in, spirit out. Spirit, spirit in, spirit <laughs> out. Three weeks on, two weeks off. Yeah. It, it was. Yeah. And, um, yeah, just, and the time you could spend... You know, doing your craft yeah. would be amazing. Yeah. Right, I think we need to wrap it up. Yep. But yeah. What is your uh, one piece of advice you would give to a budding paranormal investigator that was just starting their journey? Just starting out? Um, don't worry about getting the latest gadget. The best gadget you got is yourself. As you've learned and mastered your craft, then export into different techniques and different uh, apparatus and material, but just believe in yourself. Stay truth to yourself and stay away from all these posts that It's just not worth it. So stay true to yourself and you'll be fine. But when you're ready for the latest gadget, go to ozparatech.com. <laughs> for sure. Oh, well, thank you so much for being thank on you. Diary of a Ghost Hunter. And you are our inaugural yeah. uh, interview with another ghost parent. hunter. Yeah, so. Uh, and hopefully you get some more. Oh, now where can they find you? Where can they find you? Yes. Um, so our YouTube is Hard and Seek Paraquest. And then Facebook, same. TikTok is the original. Hard and sick. We'll put the links down below so that you thank can you. find them quite easily. But that's us over and out until next episode. So thank you so much, John. Thank, thank you. you. It's so been much. a pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye.